I actually want to move this over to here so I can see. There we go. I'm sort of in one of the side gallery spaces. Um, set up a small table in order to actually work. Uh, there's a community workroom behind me, but I was kind of told I probably shouldn't be there and other just disturbing people uh, in varying directions. Uh, I'm going to actually have to pull the cord up here and there and that and unplug this and see how long the battery decides to last on my laptop before things decide to get to kind of drop. So, lift this up, wander around the room, see what I can do with this. So, I've got art from all sorts, of, actually hold on a second, I'm zoomed in too. <laughs> Almost forgot about that, hang on. Okay. Sorry, forgot. I had all kind of. Oh, wow, I got ink all over my screen. That's awesome. Uh, 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 camera. Zoom. There we go. That's better. And I'll flip on autofocus. Because I'm sure we're going to be a little bit more variable. Okay. So, yeah, this is where I've been today uh, here on my uh, little makeshift setup. So you can tell, yes, I was not actually at home at Cinderblock Studios. I've been here at Red Fishbowl Studios in this little side space. So there's uh, dozens of artists that show here at, uh, at Red Fishbowl and uh, lots of different styles, lots of different um, mediums in general. And hey, look, it's us. Um, so yeah, this is just a little side spot. Uh, everything from uh, pop art to political art to uh, nerd-inspired stuff. There's a Majora's Mask thing that's been here for a little while. Um, this little side section, we're going to come out here. And now we're into sort of the main gallery-ish area. It's fine. Sorry, didn't think my mic was down. Uh, Would have been talking to nobody for a while here. All right, so, yeah, we've got uh, hats, ceramics, all kind of things here. Uh, there's a triptych I did over here uh, late last year. This was up on those one, two, three, <laughs> up like that. Um, yeah, all kind of, all kind of stuff here. There was a big uh, masquerade party here last uh, last night for Halloween, so all kind of things are there. This is some stuff from uh, Camp Schmidt, really cool artist. He was actually here until I don't know if he's still here or not. Might be hiding. Also, not all the lights are on in here, so that changes things a little bit. 90s kids, huh? huh? <laughs> yeah, so a whole big bunch of stuff uh, here at Red Fishbowl Studios. Again, variety of artists, mediums, styles. Uh, this is kind of a dark corner. I don't even know where the lights are for in here. Um, yeah, and this is the space that I kind of wanted to be because the table is bigger and higher, and this is sort of the community workspace. Um, a lot of in-progress stuff, paint everywhere. If I'm trying to get out of the studio and clear my head a little bit to find some new inspiration, this is usually the room I come to, also because I have a piece that I did in November right here. Uh, that's a nice big wood one. Uh, I don't even know what the size on this was. It was something like uh, three and a half by like seven feet, I think, something like that. Uh, there are artists that do work with cl uh, clothing designs and uh, painting on those for extra repurpose. Oh, there's another one of mine. Ding! Hiding in the corner. Uh, yeah. So I have a few pieces uh, floating around in sort of in the middle. I go back here towards the towards the front. Yeah, that's starting to hurt my hand. I hurry this up a little bit here. Uh, corner of a lot of smaller stuff. A lot of the, sort of the rotating artists uh, not necessarily members of the gallery on, on a lot of times their stuff's kind of up towards the center here and front little sculptural things. Uh, this side all kind of cool stuff. There's my collaborative piece I did with uh, with Rareth. It's too dark to see with the camera right now but it's here. Um, 
this artist is pretty cool. Uh, this one and uh, this one in the end, it's a little darker uh, because of the lights not on. Uh, artist by the name of Robert Walker. This one caught my attention because I was like, did I make this? <laughs> kind of has uh, a lot of similar style style elements to the stuff that I do. So, uh, yeah, Robert Walker. I've, i I got to meet that guy. I don't know if I've been around. Sort of a front desk and things. A lot of different stuff. The COVID Pokemon virus. That's... Uh, that's John Muldoon. He's got he does all this geometric stuff. Uh, he's one of our residents, and in this sort of corner up by the window is sort of my corner, because the large large variety of my own work is hanging out up here. And I was actually surprised. Uh, a couple of pieces I just put in here are uh, by the river they stand all the way up top. Um, Wellspring of Eternity is uh, the middle one, and. Uh, Actually, the most recent painting process video, I think it was, uh, Age of the Forbidden Sea. And those two, uh, the uh, Wellspring and, and Forbidden Sea, sold yesterday. They've been in the studio for, I think, less than a week and uh, already sold them. There's another one. Ding. Another one of mine there. Another one of mine there. I got a lot of, I got a lot of stuff down here. So this is sort of my uh, artistic home away from home uh, when I'm looking to do another project or uh, get my head out of the air, come down and get some new inspiration. Uh, this is where I end up going. This is, uh, so yeah, a little mini tour of Red Fishbowl Studios. Um, 